Good day everybody and uh, welcome back for another video. Um, some while ago I did uh, some tests with uh, an antenna tuner for QRP. Um, it was designed both for uh, low impedance antennas, low and high impedance antennas. Um, well, the, on the input, I'm, I mean. And uh, I was happy with it but not extremely happy. It had some limitations, but probably it was my mistake because it was my first experiment. It was the, the first antenna tuner that I built. And uh, most probably I could use a little bit more um, inductance and capacitance to be able to tune uh, the range that I wanted. But anyway, I decided to um, build a clone of a Chinese antenna tuner kit. <laughs> and uh, test it out, see how it works and uh, see if I'm happy with it. Lately, um, I changed my antenna as well. It's still an, un an NFED half-wave antenna, but it's from 80 to 10. So I'm using about uh, 39.6 meters of wire um, and a compensation coil, which is uh, about six turns of the antenna wire on a 22 millimeters PVC pipe. Um, and uh, the coil is placed about two meters away from the um, impedance transformer. And uh, I finally changed the impedance transformer, so now it's a 64 to 1. <laughs> um, so with three turns and uh, 20, 21 turns on the secondary. Um, and it works great, but because I cannot take my antenna a little bit higher than I, I should have it, uh, the SWR on the 80 meters band, it's uh, still a little bit high, it's nearly 2 to 1. So I wanted to be able to adjust that, uh, just because I promised uh, some friends uh, that I'm going to do some local uh, contacts and uh, <laughs> yeah, a lower SWR could be great. So anyway, uh, I'm just gonna open it really quick and uh, show you the insides, it's very simple. I'm gonna turn it upside down. So I have these two capacitors, I believe they're about 220 picofarads each and this coil, um, the inductor with a switch that allows me to change uh, uh, different uh, inductance values. The total, um, um, the total inductance of the inductor is about uh, 10 microhenries, give or take, um, unfortunately. My uh, LC meter only measures inductances uh, higher than 10 microhenries, and this one is actually lower. So, anyway, uh, what I have it, it's about uh, 42 turns in total on a T68 uh, 2, and I have um, taps at 32 turns, 26, 18, 14, 10 six and three turns and of course the zero goes to the variable capacitor so far it was great i also added this uh, bridge that allows me to uh, measure the swr well measure it to tune the <laughs> the antenna tuner with the help of the led i can switch uh, the bridge in and out and uh, i guess that's it now i've also added some uh, uh, banana plugs for a uh, high impedance antenna. I believe this tuner should only uh, be able to tune an impedance between uh, 30 up to 300 um, ohms. But I'm, I wanted to test out of the out of curiosity um, high impedance antennas as well, just to see um, how it uh, how it works. But unfortunately, rainy days didn't let me do that, so I'm just going to. Uh, <laughs> test uh, using the NFED half-wave antenna as it is with the um, 40, uh, 64 to 1 impedance transformer. Um, what else? One more thing I, I noticed a lot of people because I, I re I've been looking into the Chinese antenna tuner kit so I can clone it. <laughs> Finally a, a Romanian clone of a Chinese antenna tuner. Um, so a lot of people complained that they have um, low power output when using the antenna tuner and until I noticed that uh, they were keeping the antenna tuner in a tune mode not in transmit mode 
and of course if it's not in transmit mode definitely you're going to have attenuation and you're not going to have the full power going out so yeah anyway i'm just going to put this uh, things over here and right now it's actually set for 7.1 uh, megahertz and because i already have this set up uh, what i want to do i was uh, curious to see the attenuation that i have uh, through the antenna tuner see if i have any big losses or something so let me set up the nano vna really quick connect things and and then uh, check that all right so uh, what i did i uh, have the nano VNA set between 7 to 7.2 megahertz. It's uh, tuned on the 7.1 megahertz and uh, I calibrated the whole thing before using all the cables and um, connected uh, just to avoid any major uh, errors. And uh, right now on the 40 meters band, I'm getting a loss of uh, 0.65 dB, which is not bad. So it's not as worst as I thought. <laughs> I was actually expecting a lot more. But uh, yeah, 0 0.65 is not much. It's uh, decent. It's uh, really great actually. And I'm happy. So anyway, let's do an SWR test um, on the 80 meters band. Um, and obviously it was great uh, on the other ones too. But I was just worried about the 80 meters band that I might not be able to tune it properly. So uh, yeah. I'm just going to uh, move wires around and <laughs> come back with that. Okay, so I'm going to um, start these traces. I don't need this one. Um, I'm going to set it between three. No, actually, sorry. Start 3.5 and stop 3.8. All right, and now let's just, uh, I can't remember, oh, this one was, I guess. So let's say I want to tune on uh, 3.6, almost, anyway. I didn't have to do much actually. I used the same inductance value. No, I actually changed it. <laughs> yeah, but uh, anyway, the SWR is great. Uh, out of curiosity, I'm going to check the dB loss in this uh, as well. But uh, yeah, the SWR is, is good. I'm happy. It worked great. and. Uh, I'm not going to waste your time, but I also checked the other bands as well, so I can tune anything between 80 to 10 meters, and uh, I'm happy. Okay, so the dB loss on the 80 meters band tuned on the 3.6 megahertz is about minus uh, 0 0.68 decibels, so it's nearly the same as it is on the 40 meters band, so it's great. I'm happy. Uh, one more thing. Um, if you decide to test yours again, don't forget to calibrate it using all the wires <laughs> that are connected between the antenna tuner and the uh, nano VNA just to avoid any um, misreadings, to say so. Anyway, let me just. Uh, take things apart over here and talk a little bit more about uh, the antenna tuner. So as it is right now, I believe I could put mm, maybe around 10 watts in it and uh, it should work fine. Um, anyway, I don't have more than 10 watts anyway, but um, my, uh, this is a test version basically because I'm still learning about antenna tuners and uh, I want to build a final version that I'm going to use both at home and also portable but something that take uh, can take a little bit more power so anyway my friend uh, Konstantin Yankee Oscar 6 Foxtrot Victor Foxtrot uh, promised me that he, he's going to bring me two variable capacitors um, 
air variable capacitors and uh, also I'm going to order soon from my friends at Raw Waves uh, proper uh, toroid um, T 106-2 uh, uh, that would be able to take a little bit more power um, anyway yeah uh, this is great oh I might also have to replace the resistors in, in the bridge because they're quite tiny but anyway I'm uh, I'm really happy on how it works I'm happy that I'm able to tune on the all the bands right now and uh, set a proper SWR but by the way I'm always making a compromise between uh, SWR and power output I'm trying to uh, pick the a decent SWR it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, the smallest one as long as the power output it's uh, it's uh, great so uh, yeah I don't know if that's the right thing to do or not but I guess I'm uh, always learning and uh, it's good to test things so you convince yourself on uh, what's the best way to, uh, to do things so anyway just a short video for today um, I'm still working on the FTA transceiver that I can hopefully make a video about uh, next week um, with the finished uh, thing and uh, test it um, we'll see how much free time I have because right now this Sunday is the Romanian Easter coming and uh, I believe um, you know I'm going to spend time with family as well and probably not so much on the table doing things so anyway thanks for watching it was great to experiment with this uh, with this Chinese clone <laughs> um, actually it's a Romanian clone of a Chinese antenna tuner but anyway uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed it maybe you find it useful it was nice to experiment with it so I guess thank you for watching and uh, I'll wait for you next week for another video until then 73